Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Crandall. We are on week two, day three, page four. Sequence and write a story. Set six. This is the one with the pictures of the sprinkles, the cherry, the fudge, the ice cream, the kid eating the ice cream, and the carton of ice cream on the right. Let's get started. Now, friends, remember, the directions say for us to cut and paste the pictures in order, but you don't have to do that, especially since if you do that in our packet, you'll be cutting into the other side of the packet. So it's better just to write numbers next to them so we know what order the story goes in. So what's the first thing we need to do if we want to make a hot fudge sundae? It says how to make an ice cream sundae. Mmm, ice cream sundae. It also says we're supposed to use transitional words from the word bank. That's these words right here. Now, you don't have to use all of them, but you should use some of them. Remember, we're writing a story on how to make an ice cream sundae. What's the first thing we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do definitely is buy ice cream. Next thing we need to do is buy sprinkles, cherries, and fudge, if you want those on your hot fudge sundae. Then we put the ice cream in a bowl. Then we add all the ingredients and eat the ice cream. Pretty easy, I think. I mean, pretty easy to make a hot fudge sundae. Now, before we start, we need to have our first sentence. Our first sentence is called our topic sentence. What's our topic sentence going to be? Hmm. That's a good question. Now, let me make sure the words aren't going to be too big, because sometimes when I type these, they become out huge. Let's try 18. That'll work. So the first thing that happens is, is we have to have ice cream, but we need a topic sentence. Let's go with... I like, that's still too small for everybody, zoom in, I, ah, uh, Mr. Crandall, don't forget to have patience, I have patience, I like, it still too small, sorry guys, I'm just trying to make it fit, I like to make ice, oh, no capitals, ice cream sundaes exclamation point because I really like to make them. Next part. So I like to make ice cream sundaes. Oh, let's make it a full sentence. Let's say I like to make ice cream sundaes and I want to tell you how, how to make them. Hmm, that's too long. We'll put I want We'll put that set. I want to tell you how to make ice cream sundaes. There we go. Remember, writing is rewriting. I want to tell you how to make an ice cream sundae. By the way, notice sundae is spelled like that instead of with a Y at the end. So let's use one of our sequencing words. Would we start with last? Is this the, nope. I think we'd probably start with first. Let's try. First, what do we do first? Let's see. We buy some ice cream. First, buy a carton. Carton. Let's see. I'll move this over a little. Sorry, I'm trying to make the indent. Remember, guys, you always got to indent at the beginning so everybody knows the paragraph's starting right there. First, buy a carton of ice cream, of your favorite ice cream. You don't want to buy ice cream you don't like. Favorite ice cream. What should we use? Let's see. Next, then, also, after. Let's go with then. I like then. So we're going to go with then. Whoa. Then, then, what should we buy? Let's see. Buy your favorite toppings. Buy some toppings. Also, I forgot my comma. Then, buy some toppings. Like sprinkles. Let's see. Like sprinkles cherries, and hot fudge. Okay, so I'm not going to write the rest of it for you, but you got to do the next one. The next one is, you probably want to put next, put ice cream in the bowl. Finally, after adding the toppings, eat your ice cream. I love hot fudge sundaes. When you're all done, please read it through at least once. Have another friend read it for you so you know. 
and check to see if you capitalize in spacing, punctuation, spelling, and neatness. All right, friends. I'm moving on to the final one for day three. Again, this was week two, day three, page four. Sequence and write a story set, How to Make an Ice Cream Sundae. 